Hey guys, welcome to my baking channel. Today, we will be making pandesal. Pandesal are Filipino bread rolls which are a classic breakfast or midday snack in the Philippines. I still have memories of eating pandesal, dunked in fresh brewed coffee, enjoying every little bite of it. Let me show you how easy it is to make these super delicious pandesal. So let's get baking! For this recipe, we will be needing the following ingredients. You can find the exact measurements in the description box below. In a large mixing bowl, add in the 780 grams of flour. I'm using half whole wheat flour and half all-purpose flour, but you could also use only all-purpose flour instead. 150 grams of sugar, a half teaspoon of salt, and 25 grams of fresh yeast. Give this all a quick mix by using a wire whisk. Now we can add in the remaining ingredients, starting with a 1 tablespoon of vegetable oil, 1 egg plus 1 egg yolk, 115 grams of softened butter, and 120 milliliters of lukewarm water, and 200 milliliters of lukewarm milk. Mix this until everything comes together and the dough is no longer sticking to the sides of the mixing bowl. I'm done with mixing the dough, but I'm still going to knead this a little bit more to make sure that the dough is really ready. Just dust your work surface with a bit of flour and start to knead your dough until it becomes smooth and elastic. I'm now going to place my dough in the mixing bowl and cover it with plastic wrap. Let this rise for one and a half hours in a warm environment. My dough has already doubled in size. Look how perfect it is! Punch down the dough and dust your work surface with a little bit of flour. Divide the dough into two equal parts. Roll each into a log and cut them into smaller pieces. At this point, you can just eyeball the size of your pandesal. But I like mine to be uniform, therefore I'm going to weigh my dough. My pandesal are about 60 grams each. Shape each piece into a ball, just like so, and roll it in the 80 grams of breadcrumbs. Arrange your dough balls about 1 inch apart on a baking sheet, lined with parchment paper. We are now going to cover our pandesal with a clean kitchen towel and let these rise for another one hour. Preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius, about 20 minutes before the rising time of your pandesal is up. My pandesal are ready for the oven. Bake this for about 20 to 22 minutes until they turn golden brown. So this is how my pandesal look like after baking. I baked mine for 21 minutes. You guys! He smells so amazing. I just love the smell of freshly baked bread all over the place. They turned out just perfectly. They're soft and fluffy, exactly like the ones I had in the Philippines back then. They are best served while still hot with a cup of fresh brewed coffee. I hope you guys enjoyed my video today. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more yummy recipes. Take care and have a nice day. Bye!